I'm in the game and, you know, I've been there. So, um, you know, I'm never going to um, throw my teammates under the bus. They're, they're out there trying as hard as they can, but they definitely, you know, made a couple runs there that was, um, you know, a bit of a push to get back. But I just try to be ready whenever coach calls my name. Before the, the game, Nick was saying that they've kind of tried to find the opportunities to maybe play you two, three, four fewer minutes on any given night, but it's been difficult. Is that sort of how, it, how it's felt? To, to you as well these last few weeks? Yeah, I think he's, I mean, he's tried. He's tried this year a bit. Um, he's, he's done it a little bit. Uh, we've had our fights about it, you know, but um, I trust Coach and, um, you know, I trust what he's doing. I think my minutes are down. I don't know if that 47 the other night helped the, the, the average, but uh, I think my minutes are down a bit, maybe one. Yeah. one yeah, so, hey, we'll take it, you know, one at a time. But uh, Coach is trying and, um, you know, I'm just, again, whatever the team needs, I try to provide that. And uh, just, you know, wasn't good enough to, to get a win tonight. It was in this situation or similar situation last year where you guys were chasing wins and trying to turn the season around where you sort of said you, you pushed your body too far. How do you make sure that that doesn't happen in this situation here where you, you guys need wins? Well, I'll just be smart about how I'm feeling. Um, you know, if there's a, a nick or a bump or whatever that needs to heal, then, you know, I'll let it heal. If not, then I'll be out there competing. So um, I had contact injuries last year that I continued to play through that I didn't let heal. So this year, you know, if I have something that's bothering me, then I'll let it, you know, rest to, to be my best self. But um, just try to be available as much as possible. I'll change a lot of, you know, what I'm doing this year to be able to be ready and be fresh and um, seeing some results with that. So uh, I feel pretty good as of now and hopefully you know we can keep that going but all in all you know just trying to find ways to get wins you said you're you're fighting with nick over playing time are you fighting with yourself to figure out like you want to be out there but at the same time the things you just talked about you also need to how do you figure that out? Yeah, it's just like, it's just game to game, you know. Once that once that switch is on in the moment, you know, it's a different animal. You know, just being it takes a lot for me to even be out there on the court at, at my size and just my competitive nature and um, not always thinking clearly. So uh, I trust coach. Um, and, you know, it's been one or two a little back and forth, but uh, for the most part, he's he's done a good job with me. And we got to continue to find ways to find rotations that work and find lineups that that are successful for us. And um, you know, I, I feel for. He's searching some nights. Some nights, you know, it's, it's good. We got great contributions. Some nights, you know, we don't. But um, we got to find ways to, for everybody to, to be more successful and, you know, just keep on pushing and stay positive. And the byproduct, I guess, of not shooting the ball well recently is you're going to the basket and, and trying to get to the line and get contact and, and taking more hits in the process. Does that yeah. sort of what it feels like as well? Yeah, I'll be fine, guys. Trust me. I'll be fine. I promise. <laughs> We're very worried about I, I, pre I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, but uh, I'll be fine, I promise. And if, um, if there's anything bothering me, I won't play. Write it down. Obviously, there's been some issues with the bench in the last four or five games of scoring, and they're not giving you very much. What can you do to help them along besides changing rotations or just encouraging them? What, what do you see as a solution to that? Yeah, I just keep trying to encourage them and, and boost them with confidence. Again, I, I spoke about it last game. It's a tough spot. You know, they got they got a tough job to do with a little leash. And coach is, you know, tough. He's tough, as he should be. And, uh, you know, the, the odds are against him in that regard because if you don't play well as soon as you check in, then, you know, your night, you know, is going to be cut short. So um, they're definitely up against a tough challenge. But I believe in all of those guys. I think that they can definitely find ways to be more successful in what we do. But first and foremost, I think just the sense of urgency and being locked into what we are doing defensively um, and I can only speak on you know my experiences as a, as what I would, was thinking about when I was checking in off the bench um, but you know I try to help those guys as much as I can and just be there for them and support them and um, I believe in those guys. Is there anything you feel like you guys as an offense or a defense could incorporate better? Uh, yeah, but I, we're not going to talk about that here for sure. But I appreciate you, though, but I can't. You're not going to set me up. But a few similarities between you guys and the Knicks, starting off with your one-two punch of you and Siakam, Brunson, and Randall. What do you feel like the Knicks were able to do to allow their two-star players to be able to flourish tonight? Yeah, I think Julius just gave him a big start with the, you know, the three. I thought he had five threes in the first quarter, um, and that just that that was their whole offense in the first half for the most part. I mean, he got hot. Uh, I thought we did a good job on JB. He got going there um, in the second half, and then the other guys, you know, made uh, made shots. Grimes made four threes, and um, 
uh, McBride hit three big ones. Um, so they, they made shots around the edges, but uh, those two guys were really good tonight. Um, and I thought that, again, other than the first quarter, I thought we did a good job on Julius. But, um, they, again, it's, it's their, their guys are playing good this year. you got to give them credit. And um, they were just, you know, they, they did enough to win tonight. Fred, Tampa season excluded, like you've done nothing but win your whole life. Um, what are you learning about this season? I just stay positive, man. Listen, uh, I, I promise I'll take all the criticism and questions and concerns at the end of the season, but we got a long way to go. I'm not giving up. I'm never going to hang my head. Um, I'm always going to stay positive and stay confident. And um, as long as we got this group together, we got to go out there and fight and um, give it our all every night and um, look at the film, be accountable, try to grow and get better. And, uh, all it takes is a little spark and, you know, get, get some run, get some motion and um, get some good mojo going and, and try to ride it out. So, uh, just staying positive and, and again it's the ultimate test I think for myself as a leader to try to keep finding ways to will this team to wins and help my teammates um, and it's, it's making me better as a player and as a man and as a leader so I'm um, just embracing a challenge every day. When it comes to you and Pascal a lot of your best games and his best games have alternated and that hasn't always been the case for you too. Has it been the case that maybe the primary actions go to one guy over the other during the game? Is this just bad shooting games that are, you know, I guess through happenstance happening? Like, what do you think is the cause of that? Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't. I don't know if I have a great answer for that right now. Um, something that I have to look more into and, and watch the tape and and see, but. Um, you know, I think it's just maybe just a matter of letting letting the other guy breathe. You know, when he's got it going, just try to be supportive in the role. And obviously, if I got the rhythm, get downhill. Obviously, he gave him attention. I, they weren't going to probably let him score 50 again. Um, so he he did a good job of screening and and being in the next actions and and just making plays. He still finished with uh, 18 and, and and 13 on you know off shooting night. So uh, there's a lot of things P does that contributes to winning. It's not all about scoring. And um, as long as he's doing that, I think we'll be fine. Thanks, guys. Thanks,